Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. Let's go. My back aches something horrid. If my lips don't stink of wine, my wife won't know they're mine. <coughs> oh, and what do you get for all that work? Go up to any knight and shout, The Beast! You'll smell the soil to armor at once. My horse said. What is my horse said? What can I call my horse? The days pass. The pile of work remains the same. Alright, let's see if we can fast forward. I wanted to ride there, but can't can't get our horse. That is crazy. Good man! I need a fresh set of shoes for my mouth. Uh. Promptly. At your service, sir. The reason. Witcher, I have a matter of prime urgency and import. Guillaume. Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant, though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic and knows no one she could turn to for help. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged. Ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named the Tourney's patroness this year. 
Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. Hardly a regular job, this. Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. V can't be anything ordinary either. I am no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? Ooh. Give me 600. Agreed. That is an amount I can indeed muster. I should have wanted one for more. Should have asked for more. Fine. I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride, and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Apply all the skills you mentioned on a daily basis, and against monsters, not targets and dummies. Don't need any training. Going straight to the tourney grounds to sign up. Yes, sir. You must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Wars. Wars everywhere. Go to the inscription tent. Do you know the colors I would see You'd on the best behave. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Right. Right. And into the tourney. Aye. Sir de Perak Perambed. How might you feel? Kiss a dog's ass. Wonder what that is. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request. I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches' Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which battle I speak. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. What's Ravix of Forhorn? Ravix of Forhorn? How do you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. That's actually right. Who goes, Geralt? I'm Geralt. Not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. 
The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Mm. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A horse race, during... Finally, the group melee in the arena. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Oh, that's Convenient. The... Okay. That's the thing. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master <laughs> weaponsmith. Her S. illustrious highness had it brought S. all the way from Nazaire. Alright. Here's the vows. You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tournament. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear? I solemnly vow on the Heron that in competing, I'll respect the chivalric virtues. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. A sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. We're gonna sweep the competition. We're gonna sweep. I like that armor. I think it's cool. Right, Edrigger clans! Doc's nipples! The guard brings peace to our domains. Flung its wrist and brought in chains. Alright, we made it. Geralt, well, I'll be... Have you decided to turn Knight Errant? All jesting aside, here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Renfarn of Atre. I saw him just moments ago. A nervous wreck. Stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less. As if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt. I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of Quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. I don't know. I don't want to do again. Thanks. Another no. time, maybe. No. Ah, you've denied me some diversion, but at the least my eyes are in for a treat. Lady Vivian should appear shortly. Fair knights, I salute you! 
The honor and duty of tourney patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the tourney's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have readied body and soul. The time has come to test them. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian royal line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Riffia, give us a bow. The targets he must yeah. with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win. I'm gonna shoot the red ones. Okay. Shoot the red targets. Like a lover ghostly grasping but one fair teeth, Geralt's half strewn twixt joyous victory and bitter defeat. Geralt jumps ahead, leaves the others behind. Do I see this falsely? Am I out of my mind? Got it. I missed that one. I didn't notice it at first. Sir Geralt of Rivia has trounced his foe, pounded him soundly, immersed him in woe. What is this? Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank is you. Better than what I got, though? Would you tell me about the other prizes? Alas, I cannot devote more time to you than to the other combatants. I have duties to attend to. Forgive me. My medallion's vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Accept my congratulations as well. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, my guy. Good work! In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Yeah, let's go now. It's gonna be a long quest. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Claw marks, that's clear. Not sure what beast left them, just that it's big. Oh, fair Vivian. Jar of concealing Without ointment. Stuff's eyes Powerful magic at work here. My lips are like a thread of scarlet. Thy two breasts are like. I remember. Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. Salts hmm. used to make compresses. Someone approaches quickly. You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. 
We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here. But I don't think really. Let me find something though. Why were you in there? Uh corny business. The flower of chivalry. Strike Dotex! Hippies eyes on a stack! No problem! Do we have roach? Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous! Gaze at the host assembled before us! Look upon chivalry's best and most storied! Come from far lands, here to seek glory! Hear now their names as I shout them aloud! Savor the titles of their presence, be proud! Palmerin! The Baron of Lonfal, Linus of Metida, Renfarn of Atra, Hormakaspark of Meikt, Donimir of Troy, Guy de Boisfren, in service to the Duchess, Delwyn. Of Craig Yow, Count Ty of Dondal, and say of Lyria and Rivia a prince, Geralt of Rivia, uh -huh. for Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer, the faint fire of silence, tawny champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe. Does ignorance demand a bard in deceit? Does someone need telling how tourneys proceed? Nope. How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother, me. Queen of Lyria and Rivia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. The Tony's protector, the mate Vivian. Her beauty entrances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory! Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed. Swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, still rides like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun. Uh -huh. Mount Farmbell. And a drummer's could make such a sound. Witcher, good luck on the path. Thank you. 
sweet. I'm not really hitting the targets. Can't hit the targets. Oh, we hit it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, nice. So close. Will he last? Enjoy and keep pace. What's that? A race of such style, such grace, such speed. To watch was a pleasure, a treat indeed. To honor our entrance, praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. The finest of wine and food shall be served. If you've blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. I congratulate you. Here, your prize. A saddle adorned with your crest. Many thanks. By the way, my maid saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Would you know who it might have been? No idea. How juvenile. Congratulations on your win. In stellar style, no less. Ah, I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. We must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead the way. I bet it's something to do with the emerald necklace. Look at the light glitch. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty is striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. To Vivian, may you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah. When I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. Her presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel, then. Coward. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. Oh. Got business to finish here. We'll duel another day. You cannot refuse another man's challenge. It is dishonorable. You would be excluded from the tourney. Then what will become of Vivian? Coward. Fine. Main arena. See you there. Aye, we fight. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over with. Quick. Three. Two. One. 
Let's dance. For reasons so. unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it. You still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. You mean to say, you had a secret mission, set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, Private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Hi. Hi. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. Hi. <laughs> Grey Dome ah. scoundrel, ever seeking Lady Vivian, sunk under million. From Vivian, to find her. Hmm. Strange. I was sure I'd find her here. Look that bird. Flew off. Worth going after. All right. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. Can't see the bird. Oh, there we go. Alright, we move. I'm not about to fight any monsters though. No monsters.
Oh, let's see the bird now. Panther? Follow the bird down. Bird flew off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. Blood moss. Quicker to pass through the cave. Camel girls sliding around. Stop sliding around. Game crashed. the bird. What time is it? It's night time. Follow the bird down. Witcher. Lady Vivian. Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. 
in this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? Why, you are a witcher. You were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. I will be discreet. I swear this on the Heron. You mock me. No, it's just... You want reassurances. Too many. If you want my help, you've got to trust me. Won't peep a word to anyone. Unless I decide someone needs to be let in on your secret. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, my daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full, but now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as-yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. 
Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die. Yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the Tawny Grounds by now. Shall we return? Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. can change at will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm, interesting. Come. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. For... Yay. What's good, my guy? Welcome to the stream, bro. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. Promise her I won't tell. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. Look, in time Vivian will come to understand what she owes you, I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't revolve around you. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you, I regret it now. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Or now that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? I'm gonna finish the turn. I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till attorney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Oh, Got my it. God. I gotta Thanks. do some shit. But yeah. Yo, DJ, you got Prime? I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonso will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate oh, the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Hatter's men. Any questions? None. I doubt you will do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. He sounds funny. Proceed to the arena. Proceed to the arena. Sounds goofy. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight, full tilt, till one stops to its knees. 
Who virtue ignores or lance blows unclean shall forever be branded as shameful obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. No. Let us begin! Count Resaracus! Blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in buckets. Ah! Attack! Too late to surrender. No! Oh, we can do the focus. Oh me, oh my, that must have been painful. Like a thorn to the heart, only more painful. The world's never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such verve, each knight was victorious. Civil window? Yet at Tawny's end, but one champion may reign. Today it is Palmerin, all praise to his name. Dude, I want the two kills. Like lions, like leopards, so fierce fought his host. To them give your cheers, love, esteem, at most. Palmerin de Longfall and Grégoire de Gorgon, two knights of high valor shall fight to be champion. Geralt of Rithia shall not stand in La Belle. Though hopes he raised high, of victory short, he fell. What? To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. Come on, We didn't win. Greetings, my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an Oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure, but seems your tents grown ears. Show yourself, Guillaume. Can hear you breathing, and I know damn well it's you. Yo, Sway VJ, what's good, bro? Why are you here, sir? This is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? Guillaume's no foe. Though there's little honor in meddling, he meant well, means well. You guessed correctly. He was the one to hire me, but only because he wanted to help you. My lady, I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I'm yours to command. Are you quite finished? Is that all you wish to say? I have to get ill. I, 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 I suppose so. So you shall do what I command, sir. Very well, then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent, turn towards the Duchy's northern marches, and run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. Return only once you've cooled off. Then leave me be forevermore. Understood? My lady, but your, your troubles... I, I only wish... The, the Witcher's see Out now! Damn. That's crazy. You assured me I could trust you. I kept your secret. Didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. I understand he hired you, so you had to report to him. But this is not his affair, Geralt. This is my life. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? 
Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt! When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. Need to find an egg. Preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me. What will become of the chick? We'll have to break the egg. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let us go. Yo, so VJ, how you doing today? Oh no! A panther's ghost at the nest! Stand back. I'll take care of this. What's my silver sword? Oh. Eggs fell on a moss patch. They're fine except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? Think so. Now what must I do? To concentrate now. Repeat after me. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muana Gandrao. Muana Finerat. Did it work? Did the spell work? Damn it. Geralt! Look! Look! Oh, gods! I shall be able to attend balls! I shall travel to Oxenfurt! To Novigrad, even! Thank you, Witcher! Other than Guillaume. He's the one hired me to help you. Yes, I am grateful to him as well immensely. Will you tell him so for me? Should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should, but I would prefer not to. Convey my gratitude to him in my stead. Please, be so kind. Sure. I'll tell him. Farewell, Vivian. We did it. We did the quest. Almost. We didn't win the tourney, though. Which is unfortunate. We should have won. You know? I pledge my love to win the tourney with your name on my lips. Geralt, 
What of Vivian? Managed to lift her curse. Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done? Asked me to give you a message. <laughs> so she's grateful. Excuse me. Thanks to you, she can live a normal life. Good, good. But how does she fare? Vivian chose what suited her best. She's completely free now. And happy, I think. Without me. You helped her. But that doesn't mean she owes you her love. Got this bard friend. Philosopher too, I guess. Amateur. He'd say, if you love somebody, set them free. Do you know what, Geralt? You earned your reward, so take it. But keep your advice to yourself. Adieu. He's got a coins. Chichi. It's all wrong. Nothing's ever to his liking. Ultimate fart.